Okay, nice to have you with us once again on Mansfield today. If you do like the show at any stage, then just hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. As usual, on a Thursday, we talk travel. And uh, last week, we said, let's t start taking a look at venues that South Africans can get to, specifically internationally, because there are some that have opened up. Chantal Ghos is the general manager of the Independence in uh, Flight Centre. Thank you for joining us in the Mansfield Today studio. Thank you for having us. Nice to have you with us. Now, you recently went to the Maldives. I did indeed, yes. What made you decide to go to the Maldives at this particular time? Were, were you nervous? Um, initially, yes, we were nervous. Um, but we did get enough advice from the experts and we thought, well, what, what better time to travel? Uh, the rates are fantastic at the moment. Um, the deals are phenomenal. And why not travel? Um, we were a bit skeptical, but after doing our research, making sure we had all our paperwork in order, making sure we had been for our tests, we were blown away and we can't wait to go again. So um, it, it was, was nerve-wracking, I won't lie, um, but I think it's just a perception. Mm -hmm. Um, and once you've actually been and seen what it's all about, it, it, it's very similar to traveling in the old days. Well, I, I, I was in the Maldives, oh, geez, donkeys years ago, um, but under very, very different circumstances, to be honest. Um, what, what was it like? Just give us a sense of the difference. What, what, what was the flight like, for example? Um, everything from check-in, I think, arriving at the airport. Obviously, it's a bit daunting. Um, the airport's hardly open. Um, all the shops at the airport are closed. There's only a few shops that are open. But the check-in staff are friendly. Every, there's, there's a sense of excitement. People are excited to be traveling again. Yeah. People are excited to be getting on a plane, even if it's local travel. Um, so the check-in process was easy. Um, you would never have known, apart from wearing a mask and having to present your PCR test, that anything was different. Um, had to clean our passports out, get the cobwebs off the passports to go through passport control. There were hand sanitizers all over the airport. Um, and it, 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 there was no difference apart from the airport being quite airy um, yeah. with all the shops being closed. The, uh, there were some lounges that were open. Uh, we had the privilege of going to one of the lounges. It was um, quite limited food uh, being served, and it was a self-service. Um, so it, it, there was no difference. Once we were on the plane, yeah. um, the difficult part was wearing your mask for the entire flight. But eventually, you just got used to it. The cabin crew served us a phenomenal meal. Uh, drinks were being served. Everybody was in the holiday mood. Um, so it was great. There was absolutely nothing different to what it was previously, apart from having to wear a mask. Um, how did you how did you fly? We flew um, on uh, Air Seychelles, which is a direct flight yeah. into the Maldives. You do stop in um, the Seychelles to refuel mm -hmm. and yeah, then right. on to uh, the Maldives. So it's a great overnight flight, nine hours and you're there. Great. Mm -hmm. Stunning. And I've, I've, I've got to ask you, even though I'm getting, it's going to irritate me, how was the weather? The weather was... it's. It was okay. It, it wasn't the best time of year to travel. Mm -hmm. um, it is their monsoon, coming up to their monsoon season. Right. But in saying that, it was 35 degrees. Ugh. The sun was out. It was behind clouds, but it was okay. It was still there. And it would rain. It would rain for 10, 15 minutes and mm -hmm. it would stop. Sometime two, three minutes and it would stop. But overall, it was fantastic. Um, <laughs> let's bring uh, Anusia into, into the conversation here because... Um, Anusia is the product manager for Maldives at Flight Center. Anusia, thank you very much for joining us on Mansfield today. Uh, we've heard about this flight. I'm, a, I'm as jealous as anything, I must tell you, Chantel. Um, what, from a point of view of the, the, the hotels, your service providers in the Maldives, what have they, um, what have they done to ensure the safety of the passengers who are, are coming into the Maldives? 
Um, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, I think um, I think the resorts have done a great job um, in adhering to the protocols that's been guided by the World Health Organization. Um, you know, negative PCR tests are required um, 96 hours prior to arrival in the Maldives. And then again, a screening is done um, once you're in the Maldives, 72, uh, 72 hours prior to departure. And this includes travelers that have had the prescribed dose of the COVID-19 uh, COVID vaccination. You know, when you get to the resorts, your luggage is sanitized um, upon arrival and departure again. Mal masks are compulsory. Sanitizers, sanitizers are widely available. Sanitization stations are available throughout the resorts. Temperature checks are done um, throughout your stay. You know, distancing guidelines are clearly marked throughout the resorts. All staff at the resorts have been on um, COVID protocol training. So they're well equipped to deal with our clients um, at the resorts. Um, resorts have also introduced mobile apps, which you can download um, to allow for that contactless engagement with the staff throughout your stay. So things like in-room um, cleaning services are only done two or three, um, two to three days, um, you know, during your stay. It's not done um, every day. Mm -hmm. And then reservations required for dining, your spas and excursions. And this is just to adhere to the outlet capacities um, at these venues. Um, things like a la carte menus are available at dining times and um, buffets are limited. And then hotels and resorts have identified um, high touch areas and these are sanitized more frequently. And then your public areas are also deep cleaned daily. And then another thing, um, all hotels or resorts have on-site um, doctors to deal with any COVID-related emergencies. And they also have isolation rooms available. So Jeremy, these are just a few of the main safety protocols that they are in place at the resort um, to ensure their peace of mind for our traveler and to allow them to experience a safe and wonderful holiday. What, what would happen if, for example, 72 hours before you are going to be leaving the Maldives, you are pre-tested once again, and they find yes. that you are COVID positive. What, what, what happens then? So they are taken to quarantine facilities um, within the Maldives. And um, that is for the client's own expense. So they have to, you know, they won't stay at the resort that they are. They do have quarantine sites um, in Mali that the clients will be taken to. Okay. Um, so I would imagine uh, another reason to make sure that you have travel insurance when you are traveling at this, uh, this new um, and in some cases uncertain time. Absolutely imperative. Okay. And so thank you very much for give, giving us a bit of brief detail on what the resorts have been doing. Um, Anusia is the product manager for the Maldives. Um, Chantel, to come back to you, um, what... What were you nervous at all coming back again, thinking, you know, what's what's going to happen if I do test positive? You yeah. know what I mean? Or did you did you feel safe in the resort? Yeah. Absolutely. So um, I was very fortunate enough to go to two resorts. So I had to do another test between resorts. So you can't just travel from one resort to another. You've actually got to get tested again before you go to the next resort. So there was that lingering feeling of what happens if I am positive. Um, but all the staff have already been vaccinated in the resort. Uh, they explained to us that um, any staff member coming into the resort, whether they've been on leave, whether they've been home, has to quarantine for 14 days, uh, regardless if they've been vaccinated or not, and they get tested. Coming back, I wasn't too phased because if I did test positive, um, just to jump on from what Anusia said, uh, some of the resorts, not all of them, have allowed um, positive 
COVID patients to stay at the resort in a discounted uh, accommodation rate. And yeah, so you stay in your room, everything is delivered to the door. It's probably not the room you were staying in. It's on a different side of the island. So I was, just, yeah, the only reason I was nervous was I had children to come home to and a job to come back to. Um, but yeah, it, it, you do, you do think it, it does play at the back of your mind. But as I say, around the resort, there's so so many precautions that have been taken. It, it would the likelihood of it happening is minimal. Um, and obviously, if you you would have had to go into quarantine if you tested positive when you got back home. Yeah. Well, uh, they don't test you when you land back in Johannesburg. Oh. No, you just have to show your um, your negative test within the last 72 hours. Okay. And what's phenomenal is at the hotel, they just send you a letter under your door the night before, come down to reception tomorrow morning, nine o'clock to do your test. You get there, the doctor's sitting there, they do the test, they do the one in the nose and the throat, they have to by law. And it, literally three minutes, you've gone out. Six hours later, the results are on your phone on an email. It's phenomenal. Unbelievable. Well, there you go. If you're itching to get out the country, there's one of the destinations you can go to, the Maldives, and uh, the prices are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they have been running on our ticket tape, and I'm sure you've taken note of them, but you can also find out more at flightcenter.co.za, or uh, if you feel more comfortable and need to speak to somebody, get into any one of the flight centre stores. Chantal, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having us. And Jerry. thank you for joining us as well. And uh, we'll be back with uh, the property show tomorrow, right here on Mansfield Today. Until then, cheery bye. <laughs>